What is a skill you wish you knew? I, I pretty much know very little except for how to rock climb, so virtually everything else in life. And Hello, I'm Alex Honnold. I'm a professional rock climber, which basically just means that I travel and climb full time, and it's awesome, and I like that very much. Cat or dog? Neither. I'm strongly anti-pet. Summer or winter? Summer. Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. Pizza or tacos? Pizza, I guess. Dancing or singing? Dancing. Books or movies? Uh, both. Tea or coffee? Neither. Football or basketball? Uh, football, I guess. Football! <laughs> Board game or card game? Hmm, maybe card game. Hug or handshake? Uh, it depends on the situation. <laughs> Is that, am I not allowed to use those? <laughs> no, Do I have good. to choose? A thumb wear or rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Oh, I win. You, you have to, you're a champion. <laughs> <laughs> I only throw a rock as my strategy. Okay. <laughs> it's an easy strategy. It makes it pretty simple to play. Actually, I won a tournament that way. It was amazing. A text or a phone call? Phone call. Scary movie or rom-com? <laughs> I guess rom-com just because I hate horror, but neither, neither. Fancy dinner or picnic? Just normal food. I don't like picnics either. There's too much pomp and circumstance to it. Neither. <laughs> 100 days alone or one day with 100 people? <laughs> That's the story of my life right there. That should be the title of the film. 100 days by yourself is a long time, so obviously a day with 100 people. Sunrise or sunset? Uh, sunset. A thousand piece puzzle or a 10 hour podcast? Aren't those the same thing? <laughs> I just did a thousand piece puzzle on a single push like last winter. It was pretty epic. Uh, last question, joke or riddle? Joke. How do you wake up Lady Gaga? Um, how do you? You poke her face. <laughs> That's... It's a pretty bad joke, but, but I like it. Thank you. I like it. I'll try to remember it. Okay. What is the first thing you do when you wake up? Realistically, I look at my phone, which kind of makes me sad. If you found a $20 bill, what would you buy with it? I don't know. I don't really need anything right now. What is your favorite meal to eat? Um, I love Asian noodles. I love Thai food or pho or, you know, ramen. What is your favorite meal to cook? Uh, basically, I do a lot of van cooking, like easy cooking inside my car. What's your favorite object from childhood? Uh, I don't, I don't have that many objects from childhood. The most sentimental object I have that's been with me for a long time is, uh, is maybe my climbing journal, which I think dates back to 2005. But it's probably one of the few things, objects that I'm actually attached to. What is your go-to karaoke song? Uh, I am a hard no on karaoke, and I will definitely leave the venue before trying to sing. What was your favorite subject in school? I don't know, I dropped out of university, so none of them really went that well, but I don't know. I've always had more respect for, for math and sciences. How many times per month do you take a selfie? I'm happy to say that I probably only take a couple of selfies a month, and often they're at the behest of others, you know, people asking me to take a selfie with them, which I feel like doesn't count against my total. What is the weirdest question you've ever been asked? I don't know, my, my immediate thought was signing body parts on people. Um, it's not a question exactly, but it's being asked to do things that are weird. What is a skill you wish you knew? Well, I mean, I, I pretty much know very little except for how to rock climb, so virtually everything else in life. Um, you know, how to work with my hands, how to build things, or you know, how to write code, or how to cook, actually. Uh, what is your favorite word? Um, I don't know, delight comes to mind. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? An obvious choice would be to be able to fly or something like that, and then it sort of defeats the point of being a climber. Basically, any superpowers I could have would sort of defeat you know, the last 20 years of effort that I've put into this thing. But I think flying would be pretty, pretty freaking fun. What do you do when you are bored? I don't know, I, I never, I'm, I don't think I'm ever bored. I mean, typically I spend most of my time climbing and then if I'm too tired to climb, then I rest. If you had a hot tub time machine, what was that, a time machine inside of a hot tub? Uh, what year would I travel to? I would travel into the future. I think I'm a lot more interested in, in what will become of humanity than, than in our past. Yeah, I'd go to the year 3000 and just see if it's, you know, utopian paradise or if it's some post-apocalyptic abysmal waste. If you were a wrestler, what would be your walkout song? I'm just gonna say I would never be a wrestler. Do you ever Google yourself? Yes. 
but I shouldn't and neither should anybody else. Where is your favorite place to take a nap? I, I immediately think of Yosemite, I think of El Cap, like certain ledges on El Cap. When I was younger and I was working uh, on a route called the Salate the first time, there's like a little natural ledge that's kind of shaped like a canoe. In between burns, I would lay down in the little canoe-shaped ledge and fall asleep. And then you wake up in this little little stone canoe and look down and you're like, whoa, 2,500 feet off the ground. Are you sad that this is the last question card? A little bit, I'm kind of enjoying the vague, interesting questions. Um, yeah, but you know, i go either way. Top five favorite climbs. Oh, I don't know. I mean, a okay, free rider, the route I free sold on El Cap, uh, the nose on El Cap, maybe the rostrum in Yosemite. I mean, there's so many good routes in the world. So, I mean, in Spain, like big tufas, you know. Por Zona de Esmonios is big arch in China. It's, a, it's an amazing cave. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of esoteric. It's like a very random list. Basically, many of the top five in Yosemite go to Yosemite. Top four favorite bands or musicians. Think. 2003 Rock, Green Day or Offspring or Jimmy World is moving down on the bands like that. Top three favorite things to do when you're not climbing. Watch a movie, eat, chill. A top two favorite pieces of climbing gear. Climbing shoes and a shock bag. But yeah, that's obvious. If there were three, then there'd be a harness too. And then your favorite thing to eat after a big climb. The obvious answer is something like chocolate chip cookies. But then I go through huge swaths of the year where I just wouldn't eat chocolate chip cookies because they're bad for me and I shouldn't. But then I go through other parts of the year where I eat a lot of chocolate chip cookies because they're bad for me. I'm Alex Honnold. I'm the subject of the new documentary Free Solo, which is in theaters all over right now. And you're watching Whistle. Okay, and cut.